Hi, my fellow Ode doers, and welcome back. The previous video of this course gave you an overview of how the Kanban project management system works in Odoo projects. Now it's time to take your knowledge to the next level, and I'm going to show you all the cool tricks to customize your projects in the application. As you know, Odoo Project is a module integrated with many other modules, such as timesheets, planning, and field service, just to name a few. The vast majority of the customization options I'll show you in this video are available in the app, even if you have it installed on its own. With that said, let's go. So from the main dashboard, we'll go straight into the project module. And first thing you'll see is the Kanban view. I've already turned on the project stages just to make it easier, but it will mimic essentially the task stages, which is something you don't have to turn on. And this is a good high level overview of what's going on with your different projects and the statuses of them. So first thing we'll do is we'll create a new project. Here you can customize whatever name you want. What will we do today? Odoo automatically suggests um, Office Party as an example, but let's get creative here, right, Richie? What do you think of Pimp My Project? I mean, it's an interesting title, but we can go with it if you'd like. Pimp My Project. And then we'll create that new project, just for Adrian. Now here you can add the different stages you want, such as new, in progress, and done. Just to keep things a little simple here. Now, let's go back to the project to see what more we can customize on the project level. Following the breadcrumb back, we will click the three dots in the corner and select edit. Here you'll see the general information, uh, such as the name of the project. If you really want to change the project name after you've named it something terrible, this is the place to do it. Then we can change the name of the task we're going to do. So there's uh, pimp items, perhaps. Um, just a bit more clear. We can add customers. Now, it's not a required field, so you wouldn't set it if it's an internal project or if it's a project that can apply to multiple customers. Uh, in this case, we'll just do Azure just to keep things simple. Then we can add tags, many to many. So you can add as many as you want, but in this case, we'll just keep it uh, relatively straightforward with an external tag which we can change the color of if you'd like. We'll leave it as is because purple is a great color. You can assign a project manager, leave it as is, or we can assign it to Adrian because he really wants to work on this. Then we can specify the date range of when this project will be worked on. Again, not a required field, so you can leave it blank if it's something that will last a much longer time, or if you want, you can have a deadline, which is now the end date here. And then we have the allocated hours. This is something you only see if Timesheet's installed. If not, it's not going to be visible to you. And because it's going to take a lot of work for Adrian to do his job, let's do the full 40 hours. Let's give him some time. Then there's a description, which you can write whatever you want. And now it is a uh, dynamic field where you can actually customize it a bit. With a forward slash, you can, for example, do a header. Uh, things to do to pimp projects. Then we can, for example, add like a checkbox for things to do, forward slash check. And then the first thing we'll do is customize the project, step two, and then of course, everyone's favorite, profit. Then when we save this, you'll see the information is updated on in the chatter. And when we complete it, we're good to go. Now that we've modified and customized our project, let's go back and set it to in progress because we're now going to start working on it. As you can see, it's very super simple to customize and it looks really nice and clear on the main dashboard. What do you think, Adrian? Absolutely, Richie. And all the important information is displayed right there on the Kanban board. However, it still likes a bit of color, don't you think? You're right. We can add some color. So by clicking on the three dots, we can make it bright, beautiful red. No, 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 wait, wait, Richie, something that matches the color of the tag, of course. If we must keep it consistent because, you know, Adrian wants to, he's the boss, we'll do it. So nice favorite purple. Thank you very much. Perfect. You're welcome. So one last thing before we finish is that we can also add activities for people to perform just from the Kanban view. We can click the clock icon, schedule an activity, and please work on this. We can specify it for, you know, a couple days before the end of the week, because that's when it's due, and assign it to the person responsible, which is Adrian. And now this will appear in his to-do list in the upper hand corner of all his clocks. Now, I hope this has been helpful for you to understand what you can customize on the project. There's more customizations enabled when you have 
other apps installed such as field service uh, and planning. But otherwise, you have a lot you can do here. Hopefully this is helpful, and I hope you stay awesome.